Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to GamerTube, and welcome back to our What Needs to Be in Little Nightmares series. In today's video, I'll be looking into the girl with the pigtails character from the Little Nightmares digital comic. I think that this character could make for a really good DLC for the second game, so I'll go through some ideas and what I'd like to see from this proposed DLC. As always guys, I will state as well that I am aware that Tarsia Studios has stepped down from Little Nightmares, but Bandai Namco could really take the series into a new direction, or they could add new content as well. And lastly guys, before we start today's video, if you could please consider leaving a like, commenting and subscribing as it helps out a lot and it is greatly appreciated. Alrighty, let's get into the Little Nightmares Pigtail Girl DLC. So in the digital comics, we see the girl with the pigtails trapped in a confined area and using spoons to dig a tunnel out of the prison. We see that someone is sliding spoons to her every time she breaks one. After some time and many spoons, she finally breaks the surface. But then she soon realizes she's in the exact same place she started. It seems to appear that the girl with the pigtails is in a loop. After she exits the tunnel, the door creaks open. She wanders out the door and the scene zooms out to show us that the doctor is right behind her. It's quite a strange comic to begin with and it's pretty interesting to see that she's kind of in a loop. Was the doctor observing her this whole time? Was he passing her spoons from under the door? Is it all just a test? Maybe the doctor is putting her through endless trials as a test subject. So this DLC would take place in the hospital with the player playing as the pigtail girl and the doctor being the main antagonist. It would be interesting if the pigtail girl always started in an empty room and was always given a new task or trial to complete. The first trial being what she would do with these spoons that are being passed to her and would she try to escape. It seems like the doctor is trying to test her and unlock the hidden potential in this little girl. With the hidden potential, this brings us to the pigtail girl's bleeding nose. Now I personally think that the pigtail girl has some sort of telekinetic power that she isn't aware of. It's a common sci-fi trope that telekinesis puts the human brain under a lot of stress. And it's always depicted that when these people overuse this power, their nose starts to bleed. Also, another famous sci-fi trope of telekinesis is the ability to bend a spoon. This could possibly be why the doctor or someone else keeps passing her spoons. The pigtail girl, unaware of her power, simply used these spoons to dig her way out of her confinement. But she kept failing this trial and as a result always finds herself back in the same area. Now I know this idea could sound a little far-fetched to some people, but if she is telekinetic, she wouldn't be the only character in Little Nightmares with this ability. In the app game Very Little Nightmares, we are introduced to the butler. This character has his hands tied behind his back and has the ability to move things and attack the player with his mind. So with the bleeding nose, the spoons and the butler taken into account, it actually seems pretty plausible. So throughout this DLC, the pigtail girl could find herself doing multiple puzzles and trials and as the player we could see each new day as they pass and each new trial as they begin. As the trials go on, the pigtail girl soon realizes her ability. This could lead to lots of interesting puzzles and gameplay mechanics. You could use the pigtail girl's telekinetic power to lift objects and make platforms. Or you could also use your ability to turn on switches on and off and open and close doors to get through obstacles. So in the later portion of this DLC, the pigtail girl finally sees an opening and escapes from her confinement. Once again, the door creaks open, but there doesn't seem to be any sign of the doctor. Whilst attempting to escape the hospital, the pigtail girl meets the mannequins. The mannequins in Little Nightmares 2 were a very tense and frightening enemy and I think they'd work perfectly in the pigtail girl DLC. So in this gameplay segment, the player would have to get past all of these creepy mannequins. The doctor placed the mannequins down the corridor as guards to ensure she never escapes. But with the pigtail girl's newfound power, she can take them head on. So just like how Mono had to fend off the mannequins with the light of his torch, the pigtail girl could also fend them off using her telekinesis. How this could work is that she could use her ability for a limited time. She could slowly dismantle them piece by piece or she could push them back. The player would have to take notice of the pigtail girl's nose and if it started to bleed more and more, they would have to be careful not to overuse this power or she'll pass out and get grabbed by the mannequins. 
One way that the player could know that she's ready to use her power again is when she wipes away her blood with her sleeve. After the pigtail girl has dealt with and escaped all the disturbing looking mannequins, she then reaches what looks to be the entrance of the hospital. Whilst walking down the corridor towards the doors, the doctor bursts out and starts frantically chasing the pigtail girl, trying to stop her from escaping. In this tense chase sequence, the pigtail girl can use her power to tip over shelving and use other objects to slow down the doctor. As she finally approaches the doors, the doctor grabs her. The pigtail girl struggles to escape his grip. Then, all of a sudden, the doctor feels his fingers unhinging and his grip loosening. The pigtail girl has moved back each one of his fingers with her mind and released herself from his grip. As she falls to the floor, she gets back up and with all her concentration and her nose bleeding all over her white gown, she reaches one hand out and with all her might she throws the doctor into the ceiling. The doctor stares at the pigtail girl motionless, half buried in the ceiling. The pigtail girl walks out the front doors in the pouring rain. As she walks off in the distance, you see not a single drop of rain is touching her head. She is finally free from her prison. She is free to roam the Pale City. Alrighty guys, that's all we have for today's DLC ID. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot, and it's greatly appreciated. Also guys, make sure you comment down in the comment section down below and tell me what you think of this DLC idea, what you think of the girl with the pigtails, and what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty guys, well until the next video, I'll catch you later, bye.